वट इज आइजिंग मॉडल इन एडवांस स्टेटिस्टिकल मैकेनिक्स इन टूडे लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट द आइजिंग मॉडल एंड वी विल आल्सो सी वट इज द आइजिंग मॉडल एंड फर्दर वी विल सी हिस्ट्री अबाउट द आइजिंग मॉडल एंड आफ्टर दिस वी विल स्टडी वाई वी स्टडी आइजिंग मॉडल एंड आफ्टर दिस वी विल सी फर्दर कॉन्टेंट लाइक जोमेट्री शेप साइज इन आइजिंग मॉडल एंड फर्दर फेस ट्रांजेक्शन and after this we will see domain theory in ising model and hamiltonian energy in ising model further we will see structural combination and last application of ising model so first of all we will study what is the ising model in simple word ising model is a mathematical tool to study how tiny magnets or spin interact with each other in material as we see in material particle are arranged in very good manner but with the increase in temperature their value change their position change and they start spin motion and this spin motion can be shown by integral half integral even or odd numbers we will see in further lecture after this we will see example by we study in example as i already say that each spin can take one of two possible values typically represented as positive one or negative one or up and down as you can see here the arrow the upside arrow show plus one and downside arrow show minus one these arrows shows the spin motion as we as we know electron in his orbit move with orbital motion and spin motion so there are different conditions we study in statistical mechanics and we will also use different model and ising model is one of them so before studying ising model we will see about the history of ising model so first of all we will see the scientist who presented this ising model whose name was ising and in 1920 he presented his theory to describe the magnetic properties of ferromagnetic material such as iron as we know ferromagnetic materials are very strong magnet and they produce magnetic field which is more value which has more value than the dia and paramagnetic substances so we will see in further detail that how magnetic properties of ferromagnetic materials are explained by ising model so before this we will see why we study ising model so the question is why we study ising model so first condition is first of all ising model is used to study phase transition so the question is what is phase transition phase transition tells us about the energy of particle which will change with respect to change in temperature or different condition as we note that when we increase temperature particle start vibration more violently their motion will start more abruptly and their transition means phase transition means their energy will change and this phase transition will further see in detail in this lecture the second condition is it tells us about the spin behavior in a material so this is very important phenomena which is studied in ising model that it tells us about the spin behavior in material third it tells why some material become magnets and other don't and how temperature affect these behavior this statement we will see in detail after studying domain theory in this lecture so there is are at low temperature the spin tend to align the same direction leading to a phenomena known as ferromagnetism so in ferromagnetic substance the alignment is very pure and they are arranged in a proper manner but with the increase in temperature and more increase in temperature this alignment change which we see further in domain theory an example is imagine a row of little magnet laid up on a table each magnet can either point up positive one or down so this positive one shows upward spin motion and negative one shows downward spin motion and this can be shown by arrow up and down so this arrow show up motion and this show down motion 
and for this value we take plus and for this we take negative value first of all we will study about the phase transition so what is the phase transition in simple words phase transition is a change in state of matter state of matter can be changed with respect to temperature for example at low temperature magnetic like to align and the material become a magnet like a ferromagnetic material in same term when temperature is increased magnetic material loses its magnetic properties like paramagnetic material as you already have studied about para dia and ferromagnetic substance so ferromagnetic substance bear most temperature and highest alignment rate in ferromagnetic substance after this phase transition we will study about the domain theory so the question is what is domain theory here you can see particles are arranged in a proper line here the spacing between the particle is present so this shows the domain so in simple word domain is the place where particles are arranged in a proper way but with the increase in temperature like in para and diamagnetic substance this space increase and when we further increase uh, temperature this space will more increase and causes to disruption or magnetic property will be lost so in simple word definition a domain is connected region of lattice where all spin have the same value all up or all down so this is very important condition for domain theory that all the spin should be upward means plus value or all the spin should be downward means they have negative value so this is the domain theory domain theory are domains are separated by domain walls where neighboring spin have different value so as you can see here the particles each one has not the same value their values will be different but this can be shown that in domain theory they have walls between them we will study about energy and domain walls what are the energy and domain walls and what is the dependence of energy on domain on domain wall the energy of the ising model is lower when domains are formed because aligning neighboring spin reduces the energy compared to random configuration domains wall increase the energy here you can see about the particles n number of particle in a box and you can see that lower when domains are formed because aligning neighbor spin reduces the energy compared to random motion random configuration to study domain theory you can see here further picture which shows deeply about the domain theory if you see the first picture randomly positions of these arrows this shows that there is no magnetic field and in second picture you can see arrows are arranged but in different direction this shows that magnetic material with no alignment and in third case you can see all the arrows have same direction this is the statement we see that alignment will be in single direction in same direction their walls and their energy would be in same direction this shows the third diagram when magnetic material with proper domain that they have same direction they have same phase transition so this will explain by this diagram that domain theory how domain theory works you can learn here from this picture as we know that ising model is given by hamiltonian which depends on the interaction between neighboring spin as we see in that definition that ising model is mathematical tool which tells us about the interaction between neighboring spin we see this statement in the definition and here we will show how this interaction or a neighboring spin depends in hamiltonian in ising model so first of all we will see about the hamiltonian energy and what is role of hamiltonian energy in ising model so this statement shows that the energy of the ising model is given by the hamiltonian which depends on the interaction between neighboring spin here h shows the hamiltonian negative sign shows the opposite spin and e shows the sum here i shows the first particle and j shows the second particle and e is the energy of first particle i and j and s shows the spin 
of first particle and second s shows the spin of second particle and further this shows the magnetic field and their sum of spin in a magnetic field so the energy of the system in the configuration specified by this symbol is defined to be so this is the energy which we will find in further lecture and use this formulation so where j is the coupling constant and the summation is overall neighboring pairs and neighboring pairs mean i and j i means first particle or second particle and their spin motion can be shown by i and j so this can be seen in further example so here you can see the example mean three spins are given in said that si is equal to plus minus one this shows that it has up and downward spin and this can be shown by s1 mean first particle has spin plus one or minus one this shows that upward spin and downward spin in same sense second particle and in same sense third particle shows the spin it has one time value plus and second time value has negative one this shows that up and downward spin and in second example this is the second example which shows that if a particle have a spin value plus minus two this means that plus two is up spin value and minus two is second spin value means downward spin value and in same sense this is first particle and this is the second particle which has same condition means plus minus two mean upward and downward spin value has two same sense if we have three particles for example s1 s2 and s3 this shows that how these three particle will spin if they have this value means zero and plus minus one so if the particle have three values plus one upward spin zero value and downward spin in same sense second particle and third particle have value upward spin zero and minus value this can be shown by ising model if we see about the structure combination of ising model this is the linear combination and triangular combination and further circular combination we see further in detail so if we see about the linear combination and we have three particle and their spin can be shown by s1 s2 and s3 in triangular we have three spin one this second third and in circular shape we have also three spin s1 s2 and s3 which we will see further in detail so the question is how we find the hamiltonian energy by studying the spin motion of particle this we will see further so the first thing we will see that how to write hamiltonian by taking structural combination of spin as we already see linear triangular and circular combination so now we will know how we can write about hamiltonian by taking structural combination of spin so first step is write hamiltonian and we will see we see earlier that how to write hamiltonian we see a formula to write hamiltonian so first of all we will write hamiltonian and after this when whole system is indicated spin there will be two terms in Ham hamiltonian that we see that s1 and s2 and si sj this shows that spin upward spin downward spin or spin of a two particle we see so first we see that what is the mutual interaction of nearby particles or a spin as we know that spin is shown by first particle s1 and second particle spin is shown by sj so their interaction is also studied by nearby spin second for interaction of each individual spin with applied external field and standard form of hamiltonian is written so first of all we write hamiltonian and then write standard form of hamiltonian this we will see in this equation so this is the standard form this shows that first particle spin and second and s shows spin of first and second this is shows the magnetic field and this shows the spin and we will see in further formulation that how to find their values and what will be the answer so now we will move further to know how to write hamiltonian by taking structural combination of spin so in first case when two spins are given so here is the particle whose spin s1 and second particle is s2 so these are the two spin which we show in spin motion in hamiltonian form so in hamiltonian if we see that 
this is the our hamiltonian formula in this we will see that we have put spin value so first of all you have to remember that when you have to put values here you can show second spin and then first spin after this you have to add their spin values to take magnetic field b shows the magnetic field and after this we will take the hamiltonian value after solving a problem about this we will see this so in further case we have a second case when we have three spin how to write hamiltonian for three spin now we will see about the three spin of a particle first condition of this is when we have linear combination mean s1 is a particle whose spin s1 second spin third spin and this spin is arranged in a straight line for this combination we write a hamiltonian value this shows that h is the hamiltonian and spin of second particle and this is the spin of first particle in same sense this is the energy of second particle and this shows that the second and third value and spin further spin of second particle and spin of third value we will put here and in last we add all the spin values and multiply with the value of magnetic field after this we will get a hamiltonian now we will see about the second combination here we see that we have three particle spin but not in linear they are in a triangular shape so in triangular shape particles are three but their spin is not arranged in a linear way so here is you can see particles are arranged in triangular form and their hamiltonian can be written in this form one thing you should note that they are not different particle they are the same particle but we have arranged them one time in a straight line second time we arrange them in a triangular shape so here is the second combination of these three particle spin which shows that energy and then spin of second particle first particle spin then energy and further spin of second particle third particle one and three this shows that when we take spin s1 to s2 s2 to s3 s3 to s1 so this is the second combination and in first combination we will we only see that s1 to s2 and s2 to s3 but we will not take in first combination s3 to s1 here you can see s2 and s3 but in this diagram we see s1 to s2 s2 to s3 and then s3 to s1 this shows the second combination now we will move to the third case where we see more particle spin and their hamiltonian energy value so this is the value which already we have studied that the particle have the spin when we take three particle one one to two two to three and three to one so here you can see two to three and one to three means three to one or one to three are same value but here you can focus this is the s2 to s1 you should note that here we should write about s1 to s2 but not in formulation first of all we write s2 to s1 means second particle spin and then first particle spin and further second particle spin third particle spin first particle spin and third particle spin and in last we add all these numbers in same case if we have these numbers or a particle spin in four times so here is the first spin second spin third spin and fourth spin and here we can see in circular shape that we have only three spin but here we have four spin so we have already study about the three particle spin now we will study about the hamiltonian of four particle spin and for this we use equation which is given below here you can see four particle spin in same sense we take s1 to s2 value here we will take spin value s1 to s2 s2 to s3 and s3 to s4 further in second combination we will take this value s1 to s2 s2 to s3 s3 to s4 and then s4 to s1 this will be our second combination so here is the first combination and as already i have told you that the uh, first combination value will be high and will be low and after this we take in a proper way 
so first of all we take second spin value and then first spin value after this we take second spin third spin third spin fourth spin and after this we will add all these spin values and multiply with the magnetic field value this will give us about the energy means hamiltonian energy value in second combination as i already have tell you that we take value s1 to s2 s2 to s3 s3 to s4 and s4 to s1 here you can see that we take value 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 and 1 to 4 but first of all uh, first our spin we take second particle spin and then first particle spin after this we take in a proper way so these are the three combinations of particles in hamiltonian after this there is another one combination which is third combination we will see here a diagram which shows that four particle spin this is first particle spin second particle spin third particle and fourth particle and this diagram also have two combination first combination is s1 to s2 s2 to s3 s3 to s4 and s4 further not but in second combination we take s4 to s1 this can be written in hamiltonian form as given above that energy operator energy value and then spin of second particle and first particle mean k means 1 to 2 and 2 to 3 3 to 4 1 to 4 and 1 to 3 and uh, 2 to 4 this shows that we have not 4 but more than 4 particles and their spin value this can be shown that s1 to s2 s2 to s3 s3 to s4 and s4 to s1 and further we have two values that s1 to s3 and s4 to s2 we will also add these four value these four values that shows that diagonals s1 to s3 and s2 to s4 we will also add these value and in last we will add all the spin values and get the magnetic field in this way we will find about the combination in ising model they tell us about the neighboring particle and their spin so for detailed spin value we will take these equation first combination second combination and third combination and then fourth combination we will put here values if we have plus one value here put second plus one value if spin of first particle have negative value put here negative value and in same sense putting the values we can get the answer in last we will see about the application of ising model so ising model have lot of applications as a model is simplified model that have found application in various field of physics such as magnetism as we see in this lecture that in magnetism of ferromagnetic material they are properly arranged and their spin motion so the particle where the spin motion is present we use their ising model in statistical mechanics we take probability of spin motion and in solid state physics we also study about the ising model it has also been used in our discipline including computer science for studying optimizing optimization problems and neural science and modeling modeling neutral networks after this if you have a question you can write in a comment section below and after this video you can like this video and subscribe our channel